Hi, this is Davide from Sound Machines and this is the first video of the BI1 Brain Interface Desktop Edition. This product can translate your mind waves to CV control and MIDI control or your musical equipment. The Bri i1 brain interface connects with the Mindwave mobile headset from Neurosky and then translates all the information into CV values and MIDI control change. Now we go through the basic user interface. While in visualization mode, by turning the knob, the, the encoder knob, you go through the main menus. In this case, we enable the headset menu from which you can see and modify the MAC address of the headset. Then you can see the, the configuration that has been read from the headset. Go into the smooth menu. Smoothing is the uh, ability to put a low pass filter to all the values that the headset put out every one second. Okay, uh, this is for the configuration of the gate output. You can see the the wave, the row wave in this case on the right, and you can select the threshold that triggers the output. Um, by by checking on the back, you will save the parameter. By selecting MIDI, you can access the global channel, the max bandwidth, or the speed at which the maximum speed at which packets are sent out on the MIDI from 20 to 100 milliseconds. Then, for each variable, you can change the channel, the control change, and an offset to the final value, and again if you want to uh, configure your output to better suit your sonic changes. Then we are going to show you the graph menu. You can select a 2 by 2 or a single row uh, graphic of the waves that are being um, detected by the headset and translated by the BI1 brain interface. Uh, in this case, we can see uh, uh, some kind of uh, modification to the smoothing by changing it from uh, to the to the to the maximum, and then go back to the graphic. Uh, just a reminder, uh, the graphic uh, is the standard visualization of the display and the device will go back there after some seconds of inactivity. There is also a way to restore the default settings in case you lost yourself and also to enable or disable the RS-333 input and output. And this is the correct way of wearing the Mindwave Mobile. 
just wear it around your head making sure that the sensor has a good contact on your forehead and then you attach the clip to your earlobe when you turn on your headset the BT light will be uh, solid and the signal we go from red through yellow to green signaling that there is a good positioning of the sensor a good electrical contact now a very simple demonstration uh, we are using only one parameter that is the attention that is driving the control change 52 on the Dave Smith Evolver that is the filter cat off there is a sequence going on and we are modulating the sequence with the, the attention variable Thank you. 